Wow, it's been what a year now of YouTube and our little adventures we've been doing. Yeah, no, it's been a pretty epic journey, you know. Over the times, we've had a few trips where we've been a bit tired and think, oh, you don't want to get up and stuff like that. And then you're doing your film and you think, oh, it's just a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> have, the, have the cameras in your face, but when you look back on it through all the editing and stuff, you think, yeah, it's been. It was a good memory, yeah. Pretty well, sick, you know, and I think our main goal was kind of just to focus on not just the fishing side of stuff. Like, we named ourselves Big Dog Fishing Adventures for a reason. <laughs> and we kind of wanted to, you know, show the, show the whole adventure of it, like, even just the four-wheel drive yeah. and to get up into, like, the little creeks and stuff. Like, that yeah. really, I think, makes the show. So, um, yeah, I think we're pretty excited. we got a pretty big announcement <laughs> to make, don't we? Yeah, it's going to be massive. So, uh, I think pretty much it's time to tell everyone that we'll be building our own big dog fishing adventures boat yeah dream come true i reckon yeah that's it but not just buying a boat and doing it up to what we like we're actually going to build the thing <laughs> so um yeah no it's been a lot of preparation hasn't it oh yeah but it's going to be an absolute adventure and it's going to be a good experience for me and harry yeah i think i think the building aspect will be probably the most exciting part there might be a few few moments where there's a few blues and a few arguments oh, yeah. but I think that's just probably going to be most of the journey I reckon that's what's going to make it worthwhile in the end. I'm just excited to make the boat ourselves and put our own customizations on it how we want it like we've got the walk around that we're after and yeah and I think probably one of the most exciting things is just all the new gear we're going to have on it oh, with all the support we've been getting from people where we're putting a flash new motor on there all this new steering technology it's just going to be I reckon it'll be a pretty epic boat it's and I can be a weapon super excited to show you guys so yeah, yeah it's going to be Big effort, but we're going to be filming and showing the process of us building the boat. So I reckon when, once we're uh, pushing out the videos, it'll uh, yeah. be good to keep track. So we just want to really thank everyone for all the support like over this so, like year or so. It's been like a real cool experience, yeah. you know. And these guys give us the motivation to get out. And That's keep it. Like and... even like just having your mates watching the videos and like supporting you and <laughs> stuff. It, it it gets you up and going. So. Yeah, it's been a really good experience. We just like to thank everyone, and I reckon we're just super keen to get this boat underway. Oh, oh just want to get it done, eh? Yeah, it's probably <laughs> going to be maybe a week or two until we get the all the um, sheets, and then we start the progress. We've been trying to learn how to weld, so we'll give it a crack. Try to build the boat best we can, but I reckon it'll be pretty flash. Well, it's I'm... not going to be me, Neil. It's going to be you know our old man's helping us out as well, taking That's us up the ropes. Yeah, so. It's going to be a learning curve, but oh, I just reckon it'll be a great skill to have welding yeah. and stuff like that. So even just our own customizations and stuff like that, um, I just reckon it'll be pretty epic. So we're super keen to show you guys the journey with yeah. the boat. So yeah, we'd just like to thank everyone and uh, make sure you stay updated on this big project because it's going to be, I reckon, a pretty yeah. epic one. And make sure you guys like and subscribe because if you don't like and subscribe, you won't see the video. So yeah. make sure if you subscribe, you click on that bell notification. That shows you when we make a new video. You click on that and watch it. So thanks guys for all the support. Yeah, thank you. All right, so Ben, what's our plans for tomorrow? So we're gonna go see John from Plate ALO Australia and just finalise, you know, all the little customizations we want done to the boat. Yeah, all, the, all our little Pacific trademarks and all the stuff. I reckon that's what's gonna be awesome about this boat, just knowing that it's our designs, all, all up to our personalization. So, can't wait to get down there, get everything done, and then I reckon let's just get this boat started because <laughs> I can't wait. Just, I I'm just dreading the second day by day. God, I just want to get it done. I so, know. yep, let's Hopefully get to it. Hopefully it's ready by next summer, fingers crossed. That's it. Pleased to meet you. Harry. Harry. Ben. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. So um, we heard you had a boat around the back that's probably going to look a bit like our big dog one. That's right. Yeah. So we can go around the back and have a bit of a look at that. Yeah. We might um, do a bit of work on the computer and have a look at what sort of custom features you guys want. Yeah. Tuna tubes and double live bait tanks. Oh and God. Fill tanks and fuel tanks and yeah. all that sort of good stuff. And then we can uh, get a kit together and you can uh, come down and do a bit of welding and we'll teach you how to build this puppy. Yeah, you can yes, let's go. <laughs> around here guys and we'll have a look and uh, we've got one around here that we've uh, half welded up, ready for fit out. Something's prepared earlier. Yeah, a <laughs> bit like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that she's, is a, she's, a, she's a unit. Yeah, that is a big boat. Yeah. Wow. So this is our 7 4 center cats. Um, walk around, 2.5 beam. Um, you're sort of looking about 250, 300 horsepower. Um, it's got plenty of deck space. 360 litres of fuel as standard. 
Uh, you can have a kill tank, live bait tank. <laughs> Um, plenty of cabin space, full bunks inside for overnighting, but full fishability, 360 all the way around. Weighs in on an alley trailer, probably about 2.7 tonnes, um, plus a bit of fuel, so you're under your three and a half. So jump up, have a look, yeah. and then we can um, have a chat about what requirements you guys want and scribble on the drawings and we'll do some changes on the model and put your logo in the bait board and all that yeah. good stuff. Uh, this is going to be mint, this is like, puts the other one to shame almost, yeah. Wow, that is 7.4 grand, how good. This, Sorry, this is just even the walk around stuff like that's going to make such a big difference oh, when we're out fishing because when you're tuna. on the tuna and stuff and they're taking you around the boat out of the boat you know you're like trying to waddle up down the <laughs> side and you're thinking if this tuna pulls me I'm going in with it so this is going to be fully walks like your legs and stuff. yeah it's going to be a game changer I reckon it's going to be so sick far out what a beast let's get it done now <laughs> yeah I know tell me Big enough as well. Yeah, I want a good cabin because I love my sleep. So <laughs> that's what you'll be spending most of your time. Yeah, that's it. Or a sleep if we have like a nice cushion video. It'll be fine with sleep on that. But just like the cabin, like hard top, it's going to be nice and warm. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's going to be so sick. God, it's a small motivation to get building now, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Now, with the passenger seat, if you make a decision on all those things. Same with the electronics, you can have a single or twin dash module um, for twin sounders. Big sound dog. <laughs> um, so it's up to you again. Yeah. Got a lot of room to make it own. Has the options that we got as well. Make it fully like our own, like custom. This will be the big dog boat, that's for sure. Oh, these, even these grab brands, like how innovative is that? Just yeah. Then you're offshore. Yeah. It's going to be a build and a half, it's going to be fun. Big, big project, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, Lord, but... oh, like, there's no excuses. No, we don't have any excuses. It's got big fuel tank, bigger boat, motor. It's just, yeah, bigger motor. God, it's going to be... I'm just rocking like tuna. Just down the front locally. Yeah. And just up here and... <laughs> yeah. Kings. And, and threats. I'm, uh... Getting out. it in the bay with your mates, <laughs> taking it out. Oh, yeah, no, pretty excited. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'll just show you how this magic happens for your boat. Yeah. So what we do is we we design the boat in three dimensionals, and then we pull all the components apart. We nest them in these large sheets of aluminium, which you can just see here, and we create some files like this. Then they go to our CNC cutters. We've got two large format CNC routers. And this is for a customer in Western Australia. And you'll see here, when they cut, all the components are tagged into the sheet. Yep. So when you get the kit to your place, the pieces will be in there, and then you just cut around all the pieces, and it's like a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> we give you a little step-by-step -step, um, you know, photographic sequence. You can see some here, you'll recognise some of these plates. So these are the bottom plates of the kit. So you've got frame one, two, three, four, five, and so on. You've got chines, you've got side plates. Everything's marked, engraved, labeled. So we yeah. make it as simple as we can yeah. for you. Yeah. How big is like a bug like this for like this stuff? Yeah, so your pack for your kit will be about this thick. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of sheets. Yeah. Lots of cutting. Yeah, no, I'm looking yeah. forward to it though. And yeah, so we've got about 200 models. Only 25% are on the internet because um, a lot of stuff's been copied, including our whole website. So yeah, but we can go through, come in the office, we'll go through and I'll show you on the computer yep. a bit about the boat and we can make some notes about what you'd like to do yeah, yeah, sure. in terms of customising the vessel. And then, uh, and then we'll get it in the system for you. Yes, yeah, sweet. No problem.
So I've just done a couple of printouts here. So we can mark it up. You grab a pencil or a pen or something. And things like um, live bait tank position, sizing, yep. folding roofs, if it's single or twin engine, yep. um, anything like that you want to mark up, just knock yourself out. And then I can show you on the computer what we do and how it all works. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we can uh, make a wish list for you. So this is the boat here. This is the boat you're, you're after here. It's all wet and I. So that's it there. So you can see in here, we've got um, a large bunk area in here. If we turn that off there, you'll see you've got plenty of room in, inside here. To lay down you've got room for a portable toilet on these side pockets you'll see this panel here's got little slots in it plenty of storage on the inside of that cabin and then on the back of all your electronics you've got a big hatch cut out yeah so you can wire up the all your electronic bits and pieces in the dash here and um, yeah so we make it as uh, as simple as we can to build it yeah um, things like all the cabin ply liners all your CNC cut bunk tops, all your timber jigs for anything you need, including your building jigs, um, all your bollards, scuppers, drain plugs, seat cutouts, tow wires, transducer brackets, ladder brackets, bait boards are all included in the kit. Um, so we make it uh, pretty simple for the home builder to do. We've, we've been doing it almost 20 years and teaching about 17 years. So yeah, wow. um, yeah so it goes from that to this and these are all the sheets in your in your boat so this is a a nest of a 6.1 meter sheet all the stringers chines transoms all the markings for the shelves upper and lower shelves and your deck um, all your fuel tank soft patches here like that um, all your deck plates with all your engravings where you step around the cabin um, everything's marked, labelled, and there's lots of sheets, lots of parts. Yeah, it's going to be so, a, it's going to be a project. It's, but a, it's, big, going to be it's a big project. Yeah. yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. so that's it. No, thanks for that. No problem. Well. Anyway, so if you want to have a chat amongst yourselves here about. All right. So John, yep. Harry and I have got a few, I guess, customizations we'd like to make for the boat. Right. Obviously, you've already got you know your rope storages. You got enough room for a big drum for your winch. Put something like a seat cover here, so I mean, hope have a bit of comfortability. Um, and then maybe even like how it was like uh, steel before. Maybe put some cushions here to lean your knees up against. Yeah. Um, and then like a few things Harry and I were after was maybe like a, a double live bait tank. Right. Okay. So we'll just mark this up a bit. There's cushions around here. Yeah. Um, Live bait tank, so yeah. you've got a live bait tank here yeah. on the starboard side next to the bait board with yep. a battery locker in between. Yep. Where are you thinking you want the other live bait tank? Well, if we could do it here, would be perfect. That way, you know, if we did have like arrow squid in one and slimies in the other, because they do, I guess, harass each other and can kill them, and we don't really want that. We want our live bait to stay alive for kings and yeah, stuff like that. Point. Okay. Um, I guess another big figure is how are we going to fit this in the garage? We might need like a fold down hard top or something. Okay. Could we make that work maybe? Or? Well, look, we've, I just sort of had a bit of a look at that. So I've got this here. This is the top section. Obviously, this is glass. Yeah. Um, there are aluminium frame windows with side sliders. So we'll just have to look at the geometry, how we can make that fold back and tuck in under the back of the boat here yeah. without sort of sacrificing this area for rod storage on the roof. Yeah, sure. So let me have a play with that on the computer. Yeah. This is the area of concern when yep. it folds down. Yep. So let me have a look at that. Yep. I'll have a bit of a play with that. Now, what about? Do you ever do any diving, you guys? Or I don't do you want to dive later on the back? Or Harry yeah, I, pro I probably would a little bit. Yeah, I'm starting okay. to get into my diving a little bit with my dad. So okay. So would so that we'll... live bait take effect like getting in and out of the boat if you're a diver? No, we should be able to step over that. Yeah. And then um, like even if we did like the the bait tank, maybe. Like Halfway at the bottom of the like door, that. yeah. So it might come up to say to um to here, so yeah. It'll come up to there. That way, we can still use it like entrance to get in the boat as well. And yeah, I'll model thing. it up on the computer and, and yeah. show you what it's going to look like. Yep. So we've got a kill tank here, yep, in, in the front of that bait locker, and then two th um, 180 litre fuel tanks. 
So that'll give you 360 litres of fuel. Yeah. The cabin area's got, you know, 1950 for a bunk for sleeping. Oh, yeah. um, so you can sort of see that on the model there. And uh, I guess, yeah, if there's anything else that you want. Um, I think we're talking about some tuna tubes as well. Yeah, we can do that. Now, probably, do you fish for tuna? Do you want them on the boat all the time? Or do you want uh, to be able to remove, remove them? Removable would be nice. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just put that way if we are just doing bait yeah. fishing or something like that. We don't. Because your live bait tank connection's already here for yep. plumbing. So if we can put a little fitting at the back there and click them on and slip them in at the same time. When, yeah. you, when you're tuna tubing, you just pull them out. Yeah. When you want them, just turn off the valve and away you go. Happy days. Yeah, that'd be gross. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Is there anything you could always think of, Harry? No, I was doing most of it, I reckon. Yeah. We got the step ladder as well. That was a good one to add. Yeah, I think our main thing like, is just the big fuel tank. Because if we want to go out chasing swords and marlins and stuff, that's probably our biggest yeah. limitation right yeah. now with the boat we've got. I think adding that double um my bait tanks yeah that's gonna well. be big as well so i mean we can just like get ideas as we go don't yeah, have to make sure. it up all now yeah of course and that's like the with thing. the aluminium that's the great thing you can customize the layout of the boat it's yeah it's just a matter of designing something up and if you take up scuba diving in five years and do big dog scuba adventures <laughs> yeah, yeah we can it. make tank racks and all that sort of hoo-ha and they just clip on the sides and yeah. cnc so yeah. route them out and but even the storage on this boat at the moment is just insane like there's actually a lot of storage in this cabin. So in this cabin under yep. here, where I've highlighted here, there is quite a lot of storage underneath that bit of flooring. Yes. So if you have a look on here, on the model, you'll see here, I don't know if you saw that before, this bit of deck in here, yeah. if you take that panel off, yep. you can see that's all storage. Yep. See it all under there? Yeah. Right, so you've got three big lockers. Each one of them's about about 600 by about 300 by about 350 deep. So there's quite a lot of space in there. Um, and then if you want, you can make this step removable. Yeah. You can take that off. And then in here, in that panel, yep. you could cut a slide out drawer and put extra storage. Obviously under the deck, you've got to have foam, yep. but there is the capacity to have some extra storage. If you do a trip cool. up to the Whit Sundays and you want to take a lot of baked beans and bit of extra water or wherever you want. Or even just you can do that. here as well, just slide in the yeah. drawer. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. On these sides here, there's a capacity to have, because obviously the side plate flares out, yeah. you'll see there, you can have some little storage lockers in here if you oh, want yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, handy for things like ropes and things like that. You do yeah. have large rope, lo rope lockers in here. Yeah. You can see that vertical bulkhead there inside, on the side of the anchor winch sort of locker, anchor well. Um, so there is there is a capacity to have quite a bit of storage in this boat, and then the helm, uh, the passenger seat. You want to think about if you want an, an esky sliding out underneath there yep. with a cushion on top, or if you want a conventional seat flip back. Yeah, that'll be nice and versatile. Yeah. Hex the esky out the way when you say whiting fishing or something. It's all tucked in on the well, It's kind of what we got now. We've got an esky under one of their main seats, yeah. Yeah, which is good. Maybe and so. what about electronics? Are you looking at a single sounder or? A twins combo sounder? I think or? we're just doing one big one. One big one? Yeah. What size? What, uh, 16, 16 or 12 or something? We went for the 16. 16, yeah. okay. Well, I'll just check. If you just send me the geometry for the 16 inch, yeah. I'll just yeah. make sure it will fit in that dash. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, things like overhead, over up the top here. Yeah. You've got provision to put lockers up here. Yeah. Um, sorry, radios up the top there and a little bit of storage. I'll just turn that bait board off. We can get a bit of a bird's eye I in there. I just love how much you can customise the boat. See so. up in there? So you've got radios and a bit of storage up there. So you've got plenty of space up there to yeah, put sure. a bit of gear. Yep. Um, yeah, so I think I think that size boat's going to work really well for you guys. Oh, yeah, it's going to open uh, up a lot of opportunities as well for us from what we have now to, you know, I guess, fuel capacity is going to be, be a big one for us, get to you know, spend longer offshore and, yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, I think it'll work well. Yeah. So this is where we're going to put the other life bait tank in front of that hatch. Yes. Yeah, and you'll just have a little duct for your scuppers under there. Yep. Plenty of battery storage in the locker. So I think it'll work well. Yeah. Looking forward to it. All right. Oh well, it's a matter of time now. Yeah. Oh, I guess it just makes you more keen to get it done, eh? Hey? Yeah. the motivation to keep it going. All right. Yeah, Sounds good. good. Thanks for that, John. Thanks, hey. I'll send you some same 3D same thing. fancy pictures and yeah. a few dimensions so yeah. you can check everything's going to fit. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And then we'll uh, get you down for some welding and <laughs> see how you guys go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give it a crack. Should Excellent.
Thank Excellent. you. Thank you. No problem.